What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you interested in iOS downgrades. It looks like the very first downgrade with the Blackbird SEP exploit has been performed. So we have pretty good news in that matter. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So just a couple of hours ago the developer exploited guy posted this quote, impossible has been done, first successful Blackbird downgrade on iPhone 6s to iOS 10.0.1. One tethered without SHSH blobs. It was painful, but it was worth it in the end. With passcode fully working, so that's an important thing. Passcode is basically enabled by the SEP Secure Enclave processor, which means that they got the Blackbird exploit working fine, because otherwise SEP wouldn't have worked, so there would have been no passcode. They do show the device information over here running 10.0.1, so this has been a pretty serious downgrade over here, and the passcode screen as well, so that's pretty nice actually. So more about the Blackbird exploit. This was released, I think, by Pengu. Yeah, by Pengu. And um, this was released like in 2020. It's been three years and not a lot has been done with it. I think it was used in Check Rain and I think it was used in Pell Rain 2 for passcode on the jailbreak and stuff like that, but only on the supported devices. However, I don't remember any instances where this was used for downgrade purposes. However, if you want to learn more about the SEP in this particular exploit, Pengu does have the uh, published write up over here. It's actually the slides from their talk, which they explain very well how SEP works, how the exploit works, and how they did get the vulnerability. And um, in the end, they do have some important information about what you can do with this and what the limitations are. So I'm going to link this down below in the description if you want to check it out. However, it boils down to the fact that with this exploit, you are able to load SEP OS, which is the operating system behind SEP or Secure Enclave Processor. And if you are able to load SEP, you also are able to downgrade SEP and load an older version of SEP even if you don't have saved SHSH blobs. So what the MD guy did here was to basically downgrade without SHSH blobs, which is normally not possible because those blobs represent the signature, the response from Apple TSS server, and without those the device normally refuses to boot. However, since they used an iPhone 6s for this, it means that it's vulnerable to Checkmate, which is used in CheckRain as well, so they could indeed knock out those checks. However, SEP is not vulnerable by itself to the checkmate because that's basically for the main processor only so we needed an exploit for SEP as well. So what you see here is very likely a combination of checkmate in order to restore the APSW and Blackbird in order to restore SEP because otherwise you wouldn't be able to perform the downgrade. So this is pretty good, this is pretty nice indeed. It's not for the newer devices because both these exploits were patched on the newer devices so iPhone 10 and even iPhone 8 patch Blackbird I think. More information can be found on the Apple Wiki. So there are some limitations with this, it doesn't work on all devices, but on those that it does, as you can see, you can perform pretty serious downgrades. For the newer devices, of course, you are still stuck with future restore and saving SHSH blobs, and now you have an even bigger problem, and that is the Cryptex 1 component, which prevents downgrades from versions that are not very close together. For example, if you want to go from iOS 16.5.1 down to 16.0, even if SEP and Basement are compatible, you would still not be able to do it because of Cryptex 1. So there there are some issues with downgrading on newer devices. However, for those of you who are lucky enough to have an older device that is capable to run the Checkmate exploit and Blackbird, it looks like downgrades are in sight. So, thank you for watching, I am GSNO. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.